Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. So, the Duchess Marketplace flea market is closing. And a friend of mine believes that it could close as soon as um, this coming weekend. And he sells a bunch of this big heavy stuff. Um, this is, I think this is, um, at least a 25 ton press if not a 50 ton press 25 ton would be like 50,000 pounds worth of pushing pressure so anyway it says it's made by atlas i'm not sure if it's made by atlas or if somebody just put that on there right i mean it looks looks like somebody kind of hacked this together with the welds and all or maybe that's the way atlas did it back in the day i'm i'm not sure Where's it from? This guy seemed to, the, my buddy got it from somebody who got it from Texaco. Texaco used to have a research place in Glenham, New York. And he had a connection for getting all this kind of stuff out of there. So he might have gotten the press out of there or somebody else might have got the press out of there and he traded for it. But that's where it appears to be from. Now, my problem is that, as usual, just before Thanksgiving, my oven <laughs> died. Um, so my son, it won't be up until tomorrow to help me with this. Which wouldn't be that big a deal, but today, this afternoon, I need to go get a new stove. Um, if I wait for it to be delivered, that will happen after Thanksgiving. So, I gotta go haul a stove. Which means, this monstrosity has to come out of here, and I need to do it. So, I have my handy-dandy cart here, which also has a story. I love when stuff has a story. I almost, I almost like it better than the possession. This cart, um... I got it from the metal scrap yard and it turns out one of the prisons in my area I live in the Hudson Valley and there are a whole load of prisons in this area one of the prisons just loaded up a truck full of and they they just called it uh, tin and you know dumped it and then weighed the truck on the way out and that was that but uh, this there were two of these in in that truck um, and I was able to buy them both um, from from the guy who runs the scrapyard, who owns the scrapyard. So, um, I don't know. I think I bought these two in the Kawasaki Breeze Bayou, that 220. I think I gave him like 150 bucks for all of it. I think something along those lines. Anyway, I don't, I don't recall. But there we go. Anyway, um, I'm going to set up the camera and uh, <laughs> uh, for those people who shouldn't, um, if this doesn't go well, there might be a profanity or three. So, um, you know, be careful about that.
Well, that went better than I thought, except for some uh, minor bruising <laughs> on my uh, shin. Uh, and there we have it. Let me just give you guys a full view. What do you think? It stands taller than me, right? I think I'm in the picture. So probably to the top of the jack, it's like six and a half foot tall. I have the pins, right? There's the plate thing there. The thing that slides up and down, which also weighs a ton and a half. Anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I want you guys to keep your feet down, your heads up. And for those of you going away who won't have a chance to watch, Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Bye now.